How is it going? We are back after what three weeks. I've been uh, hoping to make a couple of videos over the Christmas, but it hasn't been it hasn't been going too well. I've been pretty run down the last couple of weeks and just doing a lot of easy running. Um, probably only doing one session a week the last two weeks, but they've been good sessions, and um, I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to shake off this kind of chest infection I picked up over the Christmas. You know, my son was very ill for a while. He got antibiotic and I think whatever he had, he passed it on to me. And um, it wasn't COVID anyway, because we did all the tests. And um, I've been reluctant to take any antibiotics because um, I just thought I might clear it. But I just feel so run down the last, um, the last two weeks maybe. And uh, any time I try to run fast, I've been struggling. So I'm very worried about this race today. I'm going to do the Tom Walsh 10K. And it's my first 10K race in a long time. I did this two years ago. I ran 32.12. And if I can get close to that time today, I'd be very happy. But I think today could be one of those days where I feel like pulling up. You know, I just don't feel strong at all. Um, I don't know what it is. I tried to do... The, the Gamma VO2 Max test there last week, last Friday, and um, when I went up to around 160, just to pass it, like my lactic threshold, I just didn't have any strength, and doing a couple of hill reps the other day, no strength either, like, so there's something, there's something going on, and I've been reluctant to address it, like, I did a couple of big sessions over the Christmas, I did the 100 mile week, so that was my second objective. So I suppose, better go up and get my race number before I put myself under a lot of uh, stress. <laughs> I think I have 10 minutes to spare as usual. It's not too far, it's only 15 minutes from my uh, my town in Maru to Caracol Lynch, so <sighs> no excuses for being late today. The weather is absolutely perfect. It's similar conditions to, to what we had the last time. Pretty good, you know, but like I said, I ran five, 10 a mile the last time. If I can get near that, I'll be very happy. Um, it was about 20 seconds slower than my PB, 31.50, 31.49. I won't be doing that today, but hopefully this might help me get out of the get out of the tiredness I've been in. And um, the race is one way of helping you do that, I guess. The plan today is to get maybe two miles warm up, run hard, two miles cool down, and get 10 miles, and then in the the afternoon I'm gonna try to do another session on tired legs. If I blow up today and I know that there's something up with me, I'll slow the pace down to marathon pace at least. And um I go back out and do a marathon pace session later. So hopefully all in all I'll have um <coughs> I'll have some work done marathon pace and a bit faster. Oh, thanks. No. Thank you. Yes. Is the man himself? <laughs> oh, you. Oh, thanks. Oh, good. Good man. Good man. Welcome. Oh, registration sorted. Look at this man here. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> hey. Last year's winner. Man. How are you, buddy? Right, My main man here. Gonna sell out a nice fast pace. You see? No. He's you'll, only you'll, today. He'll, he'll be on his own, yeah. Feel my back. <laughs> Last year's winner. <laughs> yeah. Tough Some course. Day effort. Some day effort. It wouldn't be the fastest course, would it? It's bumpy, like. But, it is um, bumpy, yeah. But you're a cross country runner. Yeah. It's like a it. nice fast finish as well. Yeah, it's a nice fast finish. Well. Yeah. Hey, uh, here. <laughs> some good runners here today. I'd say I'll have loads of people to hold on to anyway for a change. <laughs> That's good because um, it'll make it a lot easier. Like I said, if I could get near 5 10 a mile, I'd be very happy. I'm not expecting anything today. Hi, lads. <laughs> I'm not expecting anything today. I just don't want to blow up. I don't want to, I don't want to have to stop after 5k and my heart rate sky high. It just um it won't be a good sign, especially before um before Tokyo, so just wanna get around and enjoy it. 
Vapor flats. I've been looking forward to putting them on. I haven't worn them since the church down Timwell. Like I said, I don't train in the vapor flights. I usually use the temples and um, I just find when it comes to putting on the shoes for rest day, they always give you a little bit of a little bit of a boost. You know, sometimes you just need that. And uh, hopefully they, they work wonders for me today and get me out of this um get me out of this bad buzz that I'm in. And um hopefully allow me to run 510. <laughs> hopefully. I'm not confident. You know, usually I'm going in and I'm ready to fight in races, but now I'm afraid. I'm feeling the fear. The monkey is on my back now, but um, there's only one way to get rid of him, and that's go out and run hard. And he'll fall off if you run fast enough. So we've got 30 minutes to go. I'm just going to have one gel, and I'm going to walk up to the bag drop, leave my bag there, do two mile warm up, 15 minutes warm up, and just get ready to race. <sighs> Hopefully I'll feel better after this warm up and I feel like I can run fast because right now I don't The last time I got this man on my video he couldn't say two words <laughs> I was in Valencia since then <laughs> yeah. No beer tonight No beer Woo! 32.20, not too bad. 32.21, 5.10 a mile. I said I'd take that if I could get it, and I did. <coughs> and my chest is starting to feel, feel the cold that I was fearing. And um, it was a tough race. Last year's winner, Conor McCauley, took up the, took up the running, and uh, he basically ran the whole race on his own because no one wanted to go with him and uh, I wouldn't blame him because it was a hard pace. How would you find it? Good, like um, I, uh, in the middle of some last minute marathon training job, yeah. so uh, I mean, You had a good run in Dublin? I, very, yeah, I was very happy. Yeah. Yeah, very so good. even if nothing goes well for a couple of months, you, you can always live off that. That's yeah. the way I look at it anyway. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, no it was a tough race. It was, it was a tactical race, so it was between myself, you, and the, the young lads, we call them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, Conor kind of just took up the run, no one wanted to go with him. Conor's in flying form. Yeah, he's in good form. He's, he'll be doing Seville, and I think he'll. Yeah. All and, he, and he's small as well, he's only about, he's like Kipchoge. Yeah, he can just, he can just hop up the hills, actually. 52 kilograms, I'd love to be that weight. <laughs> <laughs> we have to look at the spread. I look at the spread with all the good <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for models for the next video now. Oh! We're in the wrong place. Do we get extra points for that? Points cool. <laughs> <laughs> for everyone. Uh, race winner, Colin McCauley, you took the race out yourself? Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, no, I went with you. I surprised thought you and yourself yeah. and Michael McMahon would be with me. To be, yeah, to be honest with you, like, what happened, we formed a kind of a group early on, uh, about five of us, and I knew Declan Moore was there, he's my club mate, I raced against him a few times, I've only beaten him once, so I thought if I'm behind him, chances are that's probably the right pace, because yeah. I'd have to try um, I'd have to try out kicking my dins, and uh, you just kind of got a bit of a gap, and everyone was happy to let you off, but yeah, you, I still, know. you still kept it going anyway, up the hills. In a way, I was, I was kind of happy on my own, like, yeah. just set up a focus on my own running now to be able to hold the gap. I was always worried and always listening for steps behind yeah, me. Yeah, you didn't hear that vehicle flight I happen. didn't hear them. Uh, <laughs> and I knew, I kind of ran the course last year so I knew the areas where I'd have to put it in. Yeah. So I, I was working hard up those hills and uh, I knew there'd be a bit of relief after everyone, you know. Yeah. And then just fifth mile, fifth and sixth mile were so hard. I mean, I was, yeah. I was well outside my comfort zone. You didn't look back once though, because I was looking at you. <laughs> Can't look back. <laughs> Oh, well, you might for, as well wave a white flag. Yeah, I was looking for a bit of weakness. I looked back three times probably in the last 400 metres and Damien Madigan caught me, so... Yeah, I, I knew everyone in that group was capable of catching me. Yeah. So I, all I had to do was focus on my own running. Exactly. I know I'm in decent shape now. And I've come down this week because like, of rest week. As a, you know, in middle yeah. So I knew I was fresh as well. That give a bit of confidence. What's next confidence. for you? Seville now in five weeks. Five so, weeks. Um, Gonna come come back up now for three hard weeks. Yeah, and you're coming back from injury as well, aren't you? As well, like, so how's, yeah, how's it going for you? It's grand. I yeah. I, uh, I knew I gave it a long time. Yeah. I gave it 16 weeks. Yeah, it's a tough I, one to come back from. It was. Yeah. 
but I, I did a good bit of gym work in cycling, yeah. so I think that's the fitness key. came back fairly quick. Yeah. I ran a marathon in, in December in Valencia to see where I was at. Yeah, and you had a great race. Yeah. yeah. It was only it goes, I think it says something about going to a race fresh as well, doesn't it? Like without Absolutely. overtraining well, too much. Undercooked is the way to yeah, go rather yeah, than definitely. It's yeah. so easy to go over. I have a in Chicago, I went over and like up to thirty K I was on for two thirty like and I'd only a few weeks training. So I think definitely going into race is fresh. Sometimes we probably do a bit too much. I know, I just trust in the ears, like we're at this yeah, so long now. Exactly, yeah. You know, the the the, the experience is in the legs yeah. and the strength is there. So I, I feel I feel you only need eight to ten weeks for a good marathon block. Yeah, yeah. I think you do a bit longer, you end up getting stale, especially yeah. if you're walking and you're doing other things. Like you're a gardener now, aren't you? You're doing pretty do, intense well work, as, yeah. as, as well as working the day job, yeah. Yeah. So, so you're back. How's your back doing all that sort of stuff? Well, I've had to kind of stop with the heavy lifting on days when I'm tra yeah. training hard, yeah. to know. And I have a tractor now, so you said a bit. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> My new best friend. That's why you're, that's why you're capable of uh, producing big performances. I have to, I'll have to get on and punch the wheels in that tractor before the next race. <laughs> I would have been better on the tractor. Then I thought all the champions. Race yes, director, how do you think it went? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant chance. Brilliant, but great turnout as well. But you're the guys that make it. And the weather was uh, perfect. Yeah. Conditions were good, I think. Yeah, good, yeah. yeah. We yeah, wish you yeah. get rid of those hills though. I know, I know you're just getting out of it water there. Yeah, we're going to run it in reverse yeah. next year. Well, no, I think that works to be honest. I wouldn't like to be starting off up that hill though. Somebody give me a thumbs up there, Clive. Thank you. John, have you any plans for um, 24? What's the major goal? Do you want to have something in the line? Tokyo Marathon. Six weeks, seven weeks. Tokyo. Thank you very much. Cheers. The first part done. The hard part. 10k at 5, 10 a mile. I'm back being cold again. I should make running 5.35 a bit easier. Who's going in there tonight? Conor McCauley with his winnings. <laughs> Here we are in the University of Limerick. Why do I put myself through this punishment? <laughs> it's all about getting to Tokyo. Uh, strong, I suppose. You know, when I was training last year, when I was, um, I guess I, I'd call myself bulletproof, I was doing a lot of racing and I was doing my long runs after the race. You know, 20, 20 milers, two hour plus long runs when I was in Poland. Um, doing kind of a warm weather training, and um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do a long one yesterday, and then come and rest today because, like I said, I haven't been feeling well. You can probably hear in my voice that um, I'm still a bit tired, and I think doing these double sessions for me allows me to get more recovery because I, if I don't get out and do a run in the next three or four days, as in session wise, uh, it won't bother me. Like the last couple of weeks. I've been doing one or two sessions here and there and I've been making them count, they've been good sessions like and you know to run 32, 22 you know when I came here last year or two years ago to do that race I thought um, I was in great shape and I, I ran 32, 10 so I'm not far off where um, where I'd probably like to be you know if you if you type 
in my time on the calculators, it says I should be running sub 32 if I if I want to run to sub 230. But you know, I think those Macmillan calculators they always overestimate the shorter stuff. There's no way I could go there confidently and run a sub 32 10k. I think it'd be a lot easier to run a sub 30 marathon at 543 pace. You know, to hold that up, then hold 506. That's just me anyway, maybe because I, I don't do enough speed, probably doing too many hills, but I definitely feel that my VO2 max is, um, my VO2 max is definitely lacking, like, um, my average heart rate today was the same as what I usually do for my marathons, which is good, you know, I'm getting efficient now at running, running, um, at 160, which is what my lactic threshold is, and... I put in a hard effort in the second half of that race and I came away and, you know, I, I finished very strong. I just got pipped though by uh, Damien Madigan into third. So, you know, it was um, it was a good blow for me. I know I have to go and put on a warm top. I'm going to wear my jacket doing this session because I'm just super cold. I'm going to leave the vapor flies on. So I know I said before I don't wear the vapor flies when I'm doing my sessions, but they're the only shoes I have on me now. And um, coming into this, obviously after running a 10k, um, you probably want to use all the, the help you can get to make it feel easier. And definitely wearing these shoes, I should be able to hold 5.35. And I have my heart rate strap and I'm going to use that. So like the race today was great, but I'm more interested now what um, effort I'm holding here when I do this 10k, around 10k, we'll see. Maybe if it's not going well, I'll just nip it in the bud. But I definitely want to do a few miles because this is my long run Sunday and I'm back to work tomorrow. And um, I won't be able to do any long runs really, probably till Wednesday. But, you know, it usually involves me going after work in the evening. And the evenings are still pretty dark now, so it's hard to get out and do uh, do long stuff. Definitely hard, definitely hard to get out and do sessions anyway. So that's why I'm going to do a double today. And... Um, there are things that work for me and um, I still have that kind of race in my legs. My my body's still kind of primed and warmed up. So, you know, I, I, I should be able to get into it um, pretty smoothly. Whereas if I try to do it tomorrow after waking up sleeping, I definitely feel stiff. And after my heart sessions, I like to have a recovery run anyway. So I don't want to be doing anything hard tomorrow. And that's it. So we better get cracking. I'm going to change out my singlet, put on a t-shirt and wear this jacket just to stay warm because I'm... Back to being pretty cold again. So let's get it done. <laughs> There's only one way to mimic ladder stage fatigue. And that's running on tired legs. Seven seconds a mile away from PV pass, but obviously I ran pretty fast a while ago. I definitely felt that, you know, sitting around in the car and just waiting around, I just got really stiff and it took me a while to get into it. I ran, <coughs> I ran 1k at that pace and I had to stop. I, I was questioning myself and then I just, I deleted, I said, I'm going to run easy. And then I said, you know what, I'll just go and try once more. <coughs> and um, I managed to get a sub 230 pace in here for the 10k. So, you know, all in all today, just under 13 miles, you know, between 5.10 and 5.42 pace. <sighs> Solid workout. If you can't do the long stuff, you know, you got to make them count. That's the way I like uh, operating. And um, hopefully the body holds up. I mean, I can feel, I can feel little twinges here and there, but if that's the worst it's going to get, you know, that's, that was a pretty hard session I did. If you count what I, what I did today, everything I did today and I can't wait to go home now. I need something nice and light the fire and just chill out and um, try to get back to normal. Hopefully I can shake off this man flu, cold or whatever it is. I can get back to normal. Just just feeling feeling good for once, you know, because it's been a while now. And uh, I suppose running today, having the race, getting that feedback will help me anyway because a lot of times it's in our heads. The gremlins are on our shoulder. Like I said, run hard and the gremlins will fall off. And we did that today. <laughs> so we'll see you next time, hopefully. All injury free and um, training's going well. Bring on Kipchoge.